If you're a pool owner, you might want to consider how you can use this water that's in your pool as a resource to protect your house from a wildfire. Wildfires are a growing issue all around the world. In this video, I'm going to show you two possible setups. So I've got that one line there hooked up to my regular circulation pump. It's a one horse. It's coming up here and being diverted to this one pipe that goes up to the top of the deck there. That is where the where the line is hooked up. I'm just gonna turn on the pump and show you what this looks like. So this is the regular circulation pump. Now that's a far cry more water than a garden hose. All right, so what I like a lot better is a pump and multiple lines with T's. I'm gonna show you how all this stuff works and how much it costs. This is the intake line, the intake of the pump, which is a two inch, two inch and a half, inch and a half, onto the pump. This will divert my water two ways. Next, I roll out and connect a network of fire hose. I devise this homeowner's version of what I've seen fire crews in California do during the Dixie Fire. This network of hose will provide overlapping coverage of a high volume of water surrounding the structures, making it easy to wet the area and put out spot fires. This way, the wildfire will go around the structures instead of incinerating them. This is not a self-timing pump. Most pumps aren't. So what you gotta do is fill the pump with water. And then this plug goes back on. Then you switch it on, set your choke, give it a little idle. over to any hose and get massive, massive amounts of water. So I can wet this whole area down, wet the house down, don't want to wet the house down too much right now because there's no fire. And then turn this one off. Oh, I had a kink in the line too. If I got rid of that, I could even spray further. They run right over here. Oh, this one was on. I didn't even realize. So that was two going at once right then. I have water now. Lots. And lots. Oh, my foot just got wet. Of water. You see that? I had drenched this house. Trees surrounding ground, all, everything. I can get everything wet right now, right from my pool. So I'm covered, 360. This one, I can get the entire studio. But you could see that even when all the nozzles were leaking, the first one that I did down here was still moving a lot of water. So you set up your system, you start wetting things down, and then you can go and fix all the kinks and make sure everything's good. Um, but now I'm going to show you side by side between this line right here, which is still hooked up to the pool pump, and show you how much further this pump will shoot, and also a regular garden hose. This is the entire setup. This is just regular pipe thread, and this is pipe thread, but it's straight. So it works from male to female. 
just fine and you don't even need a tool they'll tighten down but when you go from the female side to the pipe you actually need adapter and this is one right here if I were just to put this male into this female it would leak you can get all this stuff online shop around for the best prices I went with pipe thread so I can use PVC for the T's PVC is cheap, strong, and light. For my setup, I needed two of these adapters. I'm using 50 foot long single jacket fire hose with aluminum national pipe straight hose threads, MPSH, or what they call straight pipe thread. When the hose is filled with water, it's really heavy, so I wouldn't go any bigger than an inch and a half. Fire nozzle heads and they go right on to the hose. Make sure you get the right diameter and thread size of your nozzle to match your hose. So I've been monkeying around with this thing, spraying water all over the place. And this might have gone down maybe an inch. There's a lot of water left in here. A whole lot of water that is way more than a fire truck holds. This is why there's a great benefit to owning a pool um, that you can use to protect your home. This has been Sculpture for a Small Planet. Thanks for watching and good luck with all your projects.